brothers and sisters greet you all in the powerful name of our lord and savior jesus christ i count it a joy and an honor to break the bread of life with you on this uh, special day we are taking it out of the book of exodus uh, uh hebrews and the book of john chapter 10 verse number 10 we encounter the the story of uh the text that uh the children of uh uh, Israel is uh, getting ready to leave the land of uh, Egypt, um, which is uh, very critical at this stage because uh, Mo- uh, Pharaoh had seen the powerful hand of God move mightily. And now God would raise up uh, Moses. Moses was uh, chosen by God to lead the children of Israel. Over three million uh, people would be crossing uh, this Red Sea. It is a powerful a mighty move from Almighty God. Moses was uh, a man after the the secrets of God. In fact, the secrets of God, God will display his secrets to uh, his prophets and, and will show them his covenant. So it is here the prophet Moses uh, comes into the book of uh, Exodus, which is uh, 400 years of uh, Egyptian uh, captivity and um, bondage. Uh, the word Egypt, uh, the name Egypt, this uh, definition here of Egypt is the meaning of that name is confinement or house of confinement or bondage. It is uh, also the place of entanglement, uh, delio, which is to be ensnared or entrapped. Uh, and this is what the world system seeks to do to entrap God's people, to ensnare, to cause us to be entangled. Uh, glory to God. It is here we need the uh, the power of Almighty God. Uh, the Bible says, whom the Son set free is free indeed. It, it is a great liberation. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty or freedom. Glory to God. And the Spirit of God moved uh, in the book of uh, Genesis 1 3. The first mover, in fact, the first mover was the Spirit of God. And the Spirit moved over the depths of the water, the deep things, uh, the darkness. Uh, and He brought light. And out of the chaos, He brought order. Understand the first ever mover was the Spirit of Almighty God. Uh, and we are asking God for His Holy Spirit to move in unprecedented ways in this a season we're asking uh, that Jesus Christ be exalted and he be lifted up uh, and whenever Satan seeks to make a move right in Genesis he made a move early in creation uh, uh, then after he made a move in the book of Genesis chapter 3 where he uh, begins to uh, corrupt uh, mankind by tempting Adam and Eve glory to God in chapter 4 he sifted Cain to slew his brother Abel. So the enemy is always up to making a move. But this time, I want to let you know that God has a move or God has the final move over your life. Uh, the Bible says uh, that Moses crying out unto God and because of the children of Israel, they were crying out to God in chapter 14 verse 10. Uh, they saw Pharaoh coming uh, from verses 10 to 15 and said unto Moses, or when they lifted up their eyes uh, and they saw Pharaoh, they were uh, uh, terrified, they were fearful, and they complained to Moses and said, Moses, why have you brought us out here? Uh, won't there, uh, wasn't, any, wasn't there graves in Egypt so we can die in Egypt? And Moses and they were complaining of going back uh, into Egypt. Uh, a few chapters ahead, they said, uh, uh, why didn't you leave us uh, for we were uh, receiving onions and leeks and seasoned food. Uh, are you there with me? Sometimes you, they, they are forgotten. They were uh, remembering the, the leeks and the onions, but they, they forgot uh, how they uh, were, were, were ensnared and they were trapped and made slaves uh, unto Pharaoh and his camp. Uh, glory to God. Uh, it is uh, very important to note uh, that sometimes we can forget all that God has done uh, and all the miracles and all the signs and wonders uh, and they crave the going back to Egypt. I, I want to give you admonition tonight uh, uh, that there must not be a strange pull back into Egypt because uh, Egypt is a type of the world system. It is a type of a worldly system. Uh, uh, the Bible says in the book of John, the whole world lies in the sway of the evil one, the influencers. Uh, uh, many influencers uh, are working for Satan's regime and Satan-like powers. Uh, it is here we find Pharaoh 
uh, operating like a, a satanic uh, being because he he claims to be God. He wanted, uh, he believed he owned the children of Israel, uh, but the Bible says that Israel is God's firstborn. Uh, and that's why God will contend uh, for anyone that fights against his children. Uh, are you there with me that that you cannot take uh, God's creation, you cannot take lives. Uh, uh, over 3.8 million people have died because of this uh, uh, back this virus uh, that is uh, uh, now uh, exposed uh, that it is uh, you know there are different areas that uh, it was made man-made made in a lab and now there are vaccines vaccines being implemented to, to try and uh, to eradicate the widespread of this virus but but look at the uh, the result of, of of evil in the the land in a, a two year span if, if we say heading up to two years uh, that we have lost over 3.8 million of god's uh, creation i want you to see it from this point of view that that god uh, whenever you touch uh, god's creation he's going to come back with judgments uh, because uh uh, the Bible says uh, there were over 3 million people being uh, liberated from uh, Egypt culture and, and God uh, is getting ready to move. I want to admonish you that God is uh, preparing the church uh, to move into a prophetic dimension. He's getting ready to cause the church to be consecrated for, before conquest. Uh, I sense in my spirit that there is a great conquest coming. Uh, uh, we have already know, uh, seen things shaken and collapsing of great buildings and and uh, the weather patterns are being changed drastically. So we are seeing God, uh, uh, whenever God makes a move, uh, the whole world will see a move. Uh, according to Revelation 3.10, uh, when that great tribulation would come, uh, uh, it will be felt, the whole world will feel the hour of that tribulation. Uh, uh, however, I want you to know that God is getting ready to move and one must be very strategic. Uh, life is like a game of chess. Uh, so the, the, the children of Israel, uh, uh, Pharaoh uh, would let them go. He said unto Moses, uh, uh, all right, this is it. I've seen uh, my firstborn, uh, they are, they, all the firstborn of Egypt, they died. And, and now Pharaoh is terrified and, and Pharaoh is uh, being contested against uh, by God uh, and God's man Moses and, and Aaron and the Bible says uh, that he uh, allowed them to leave the land of Egypt uh, and in, in chapter 14 uh, uh, he changed his mind and he begins to pursue the children of God uh, and I want you to know that uh, while Satan is making a move God also has a move to make uh, so I want you to know that life is like a game of chess uh, a game of draft. You have to be very critical and and uh, uh, strategic in how you're moving in the last and closing days. Uh, uh, I want you to know that life is not a game. Life is a, like a game of chess. It's not a game. It's not a gamble. For God is very strategic. God is a master of uh, plans, purposes, and counsels. Uh, in fact, he is the uh, beginning and the ending. Uh, he is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the first and the last. I want you to understand that he's also God in the middle. God will find you in the middle of a difficult situation. Uh, he'll find you in the middle of the Red Sea. He'll find you in the middle of a storm that is blown, uh, tossed to and fro. The disciples uh, uh, well, it was in this great conflict of a storm and, and the Bible says that God will come walking on the seas uh, for them because he's the master of the middle, he's a master of the deep things uh, of Almighty God. So, so if you're going to change in this season, change is a mandatory for growth. I want you to hear that. Change is mandatory for God. If we're going to metamorphosize, if we're going to change uh, for the greater good uh, and for the anointing and for the, the greater expectations of God, one must begin to change uh, from the inside out. Notice, uh, I noticed something about the children of Israel that they were complaining unto Moses that uh, Pharaoh is coming after them 
to destroy them. Watch this. Uh, that they, uh, there was uh, no graves in the wilderness. And they started to complain and said, are there no graves in Egypt? Yes, there are many graves in Egypt. Uh, they are thinking death and God is thinking life. Uh, they are thinking bondage and God is thinking blessing. They are thinking onions and leek leaks and God is think, uh, thinking about uh, land flowing with milk and honey. I want you to see that sometimes uh, your thoughts uh, that they are thinking about graves, they are thinking about going back to Egypt and the world. Brothers and sisters, uh, uh, there is nothing in the world for you out there. All there is is bondage, slavery, there is forced labor upon you, there is intimidation, there is uh, a domination, uh, there is a manipulation. All these is what I call psychological warfare because a Satan who operates like a Pharaoh, when they heard that Pharaoh was coming uh, with over 600 chariot men, charioters, uh, they were terrified. In other words, fear gripped them. Uh, they were fearful in their spirit. Uh, they could have, uh, they were hearing the, ch the horsemen coming. Uh, uh, can you hear the horses riding again? They heard the horsemen coming. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 6 uh, that the horsemen are getting ready to come. But but glory to God, the church will be taken up. Uh, glory to God. God always makes a way for the great escape. I, I, I almost call this one the great escape. Uh, but I want you to know that God is getting ready to save us and deliver us. Glory to God. It is here Moses said that the Lord will fight for you. Moses cried out to God and he said, stand still, fear not. Fear not because he understood all this negativity, uh, all this uh, a negative talk and communication was because Pharaoh is coming after them. And I want you to see it, uh, that psychological warfare deals with intimidation. It deals with skill of intimidating. It deals with manipulation, um, having a skillful uh, plot schemes uh, to cause manipulation. Uh, and then the finality is domination, which is forcing his hand upon you to uh, cause you to operate in a way that you ought not to operate, to speak things uh, that you ought not to say. Because if the enemy gets you to talk about death, and he gets you to talk about going back to Egypt or the world or to carnality or to uh, frustrate your life into taking matters uh, into your own hands. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but but I sense somebody. Maybe uh, the Lord is trying. There's a strange pull. Uh, the Egypt is pulling you back. Uh, it's, it's pulling you away from the things of God and from the church uh, and from the principles and the laws uh, of Almighty God. I want you to know, uh, cast not away your confidence, uh, which has a great recompense of reward. Understand that in John chapter 10, verse 10, the thief Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus came that he would give us life uh, and give us life more abundantly. I want you to see it. Three, three critical points uh, and strategies Satan has. One, number one, steal to steal your life, uh, steal your joy, your peace, uh, to kill your dreams and your ambitions, uh, and to destroy your existence for living. Uh, this is what I call, uh, uh, he's trying to destroy your purpose uh, and to cause you to live, but not really live. Uh, are you there with me? So Satan is very, uh, in fact, uh, the word thief, there is kleptos. Uh, which he acts as a puppet master, a master of pulling strings. And you have to be careful of folks who are trying to pull your strings and to cause you to think what they want you to think. This is the uh, almost like a new world order. There, there is a system, there is a regime there, which I call the Pharaoh system. They are trying to uh, elevate themselves as gods on this uh, on this world. Uh, uh, but they little do they realize that the, that the, that God rules in the heavens uh, and He's the master of the universe. Uh, are you there with me? And so they are trying to cause a mass uh, 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 control or to to manipulate and to dominate and intimidate uh, so many people. Uh, but I want to serve notice that God has the final 
move in our lives. Uh, glory to God. So, so the Bible says, Moses said unto them, uh, through radical faith, uh, that fear thou not. Uh, I want to come against the spirit of fear over your life. And the Bible says that God has not given us the spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. This is the uh, ability to understand that, that Pharaoh seeks to, uh, there's a release of that Pharaoh spirit uh, uh, to try to take you into bondage, into captivity, into confinement, uh, and finality is to destroy you. So the children of Israel were, uh, were, were not understanding what God was doing. They were about, uh, they saw the miracles, signs, and wonders, but yet they lacked understanding of why God uh, would reveal himself in such power and might unto them. God was forming uh, from a, a children. Uh, he says, speak to the children. Notice the terminologies uh, that God wants to take them from uh, being children to a people, to uh, wandering in wilderness and uh, deserts, uh, to form a nation, uh, to give them laws, uh, to give them commandments, to give them precepts and statutes uh, so that they can be formed uh, as a nation. The Bible says we are a royal priesthood, a holy nation uh, called unto God. We are this chosen generation. Are you there with me? So Moses uh, is raised up by God uh, to lead over three million people over to the other side. I wish right now where you are, I want you just to shout, I'm going over to the other side. No Red Sea is going to stop me. I'm, I'm going to walk on dry ground. God says, I'm going to cause you to walk on dry ground in the mighty name of Jesus. So, so we, we are rebuking the spirit of fear and intimidation. There, there is a healthy fear. Uh, fear of God, which is the reverential fear of God. So one must have reverence unto God. Uh, and the Bible says uh, that we are serving God who is a consuming fire. Remember, Moses saw him in the burning bush. He experienced God. Uh, God spoke out of the burning bush uh, because the bush uh, represented the nation of Israel. It is uh, going through trials and persecution and testings, uh, but yet it is not consumed. It is not destroyed. Glory to God. Because God has the final move. Glory to God. So, so number one, Pharaoh had a great army. So Pharaoh is coming with his army. Uh, but God has the ability to confuse the army. In fact, the wheels fly out uh, from the chariots and, and the horsemen. Uh, God confused them. Glory to God. Uh, God was about to bring them out by a mighty hand, a high hand. Uh, his protection, his direction is given to you to this night. Uh, I want to release that to you. His protection and his provision and his direction. God says, I'm going to give you clear direction for the future. I'm going to cause you to move. Uh, the Bible says, and he caused them to move. Uh, he caused the sea to roll back. Uh, whatever is coming against you and your house, against the church, against the nation, God says, I'm rolling it back uh, by a strong east wind. All you have to do, lift up your hands uh, and begin to worship God. Glory to God. Uh, I want to, to let you know, God is the maestro of his orchestra. Uh, you you better write that down. God is the maestro of his orchestra. He is making a new melody or a new sound in every situation. He's getting rid of the disasters, the oppression, and the opposition. Everything that Pharaoh-like system has come against you, God says that I'm making a new melody in every situation. Whatever situation you're faced with, I want you to sing a new song unto God. I want you to sing a song. Uh, it, it can be an old song, but, but you got to sing a song in your night hour. Sing praises unto God. Uh, in fact, when the, Bi the Bible says in the book of Acts, the 16th chapter, is that when Paul and Silas, uh, they were thrown into prison, uh, and the Bible, why they were thrown into prison is very critical, uh, because they cast a spirit out of a young girl. Uh, she had a python spirit. Uh, and the Bible says uh, that Paul uh, Rebuked the spirit uh, and the magistrates, uh, the counselors took Paul and Silas and threw them into the dungeon. Uh, but they didn't know that God is the master of moving in the dark. Uh, I want you to know that God can move all the night. Uh, this is a great escape. Uh, this miracle happens in the dark, uh, just as the pictures are uh, developed in the dark. Uh, the Bible says uh, all that night uh, there is a deliverance in the dark. Uh, there's a deliverance in the darkness. Uh, 
there's a deliverance uh, coming out uh, and the Bible says out of the darkness he called forth the light uh, and the light shone out of the darkness uh, uh, brothers and sisters uh, God will give new orders through Moses uh, and the new orders was this uh, don't be afraid brothers and sisters stand still and see the salvation of almighty god let's watch and see what god is getting ready to do in this new season of your life position your life with prayer and fasting position your life uh, you have to stay under a voice are you there with me and the man moses was raised up to lead over three million people over to the other side to the promised land and to the promises of almighty god a land that floweth with milk and honey a land that god will stand up for the children of almighty god i want to command and prophesy unto you that every pharaoh system will bow to the ground everything that was plotted against you in the dark will now bow in the name of jesus god is confusing the enemy's camp like Jehoshaphat, they that came against the king, he confused them. In fact, the Bible says that God set an ambush against the children of the Ammonites and the Canaanites. God did it for them in the name of Jesus. Stand still, brothers and sisters. Watch this. I want to close off with letting you know this. For whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world system. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, the, uh, overcomes the world, our faith. Uh, who is he that overcomes the world? But he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Brethren, now we have passed from life because God is fighting for you. He says, uh, only stand still, fear not stand still and see the deliverance uh, that God is about to give unto you. For this night, uh, the Lord will fight for you. God has the final move. The king has one more move uh, and that move is to uh, say unto the enemy, you are defeated, uh, you are destroyed. Uh, uh, every intimidating spirit, uh, every intimidation, every manipulation, every frustration, every isolation. God says, I'm getting ready to deliver you and set you free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now we have been passed, now have we been passed from life that God is about to make another move in your life, in your spirit, Holy Spirit. You were moving in Genesis and you still move from Genesis to Revelation. I ask of you to ignite faith that we will trust you, God, that you can accomplish uh, great victories for us, God. Uh, let your name be magnified. Let your name be glorified, God. Uh, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills uh, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, uh, the maker of heaven and earth. Brothers and sisters, he can still part the Red Seas. Uh, he's the way maker. He's the pathfinder. He's, it's God's presence uh, and the supernatural uh, about to hit you uh, in your going out, uh, in your coming in. Uh, God is about to cause you to pass through this thing uh, that on come on on the next few months of the uh, rest of your life this next few months uh, as we close off this year that you must not die but you must live and declare the glories of almighty god uh, brothers and sisters by grace we have been saved true faith is not of works lest any man should boast it is by grace uh, we are saved uh, uh, true faith uh, unto God. Uh, I want you to know that Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 and 9, God says it is by grace. Uh, he has saved us. Uh, glory to God. Uh, I want you to know that God is fighting our battles for us, uh, that we give it unto God. The prophetic word is this, uh, the Lord will fight for you this night. Only stand still and see the salvation of Almighty God. Moses, uh, Moses cried out, and God said unto Moses, Why criest thou unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel, and tell them, Go forward. I hear the Lord saying unto you, Go forward, brothers and sisters. You're never going back again into the place of bondage. Go forward into a land of purpose, into destiny, into a land flowing with milk and honey in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. May the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you. Lift up his countenance upon you. May the Lord bless you in your going out and in your coming in from this time forth. In Jesus' mighty name, we give God thanks and praise for his word. 
in Jesus name God bless you brothers and sisters until the next appointed time God bless you remember the thief comes to steal kill and destroy but Jesus came that we may have life and have it more abundantly receive the abundant life in Jesus name amen and amen hallelujah to God Almighty